And, and for us, you know, as, I, as God spoke to me this week through this process, I had to stop asking, Lord, how much, how much do you want? Uh, I grew up in church. I, I've been giving 10% of my money since I got an allowance. $1 allowance, 10 cents to the church. Uh, it wasn't an option for me, and so that was always my nature. But, uh, you know, when, when, when God begins to take more and more of your heart and you begin to yield more and more of yourself to him, he, he gets creative in the way that you give. And so uh, God has blessed Audra and I in a, in a very powerful way this past couple of months and, uh, and God's called us to do something with that blessing. Not to raise our standard of living but to multiply the kingdom of God in and through our life. It may be that way for you. Probably not this month. Everybody's broke in January. I know that. Uh, maybe f- February, March where you get a tax return. Maybe, maybe something happens. You come into a lot of money. Maybe there's something sitting in your garage that's just collecting dust and you can leverage that and multiply the kingdom of God through that. Instead of asking, how, God, how much do you want? How much, do, what do I have to give? Ask yourself, what am I not giving and why? And is it because it's become a priority in my life instead of the Lord? And it may very well be that God can use that willingness to say, I'm putting God first, not this, to yield your heart to him. And when he has your heart, he will multiply your life in a way beyond your imagination. So maybe that's the case.